Hey, what is up you guys, welcome back. I know I have been gone for quite a bit of time and I'll try to explain that at the end of this video, but for now let's jump straight into the topic of the video. Which is that right now is the best time for you to sell your souvenir packages from the last major, the 2021 Stockholm major, if of course you're still holding on to them. Uh, I don't think many people are still holding on to them because the price has bumped up quite a bit, but if you haven't sold them yet, this is the perfect time for it. And I'll try to explain why I think that so, as well as show you on which platforms you can sell your items on so that you get the best return absolutely. If you remember from my previous videos, I mentioned that I bought 1.5k souvenir packages myself. Yeah, 1,500 for the set price, which was 2.5 euros in game. Since then, I've sold all those souvenir packages and then I bought more on buff for around 2 euros a piece and then resold them again to make a profit basically. But at this moment right now, I don't have any left. And even though it's actually quite profitable to still continue buying them on buff and selling on different platforms, I, I don't do that anymore because it's already getting very close to the next major. And that is basically the main reason why you shouldn't be holding on to the souvenir packages from the last major. Of course, yeah, we know, we had these three collections, the Mirage, Dust 2 and Ancient, those are extremely likely to come back during the next major, because why wouldn't they? Of course, Valve is unexpected and they don't have to follow any rules, everything they do is based on whatever they feel like. I generally try to follow the rule that if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Because it seems like every single time Valve had the option to either do nothing or ruin an investment, they chose the latter. Maybe that didn't happen consciously, but their actions very often led to that. Basically, the question that we have to answer is, are these collections going to come back in the next major as souvenir packages? We can't answer that question with absolute certainty, but I think it is more likely than not. In the previous majors, like 4 or 5 years ago, they did repeat souvenir collections quite a lot actually. The cobblestone collection I think was present 4 or 5 times, if I'm not mistaken, I would have to look it up. But anyway, I think you would be making the right decision to sell these souvenir packages at this point in time. Perhaps it would have been a little more efficient even one week ago, because it seems people already started selling off these souvenir packages just because they're anticipating that they're gonna come back in the next major. And that is kind of the reason why I recorded this video with such urgency. Now, if you are looking to sell your souvenir packages and you wanna get the most squeeze out of it, then you have a few options. The first one that's gonna come to mind is the Steam Marketplace and we're gonna just take a look at the Mirage souvenir packages throughout multiple marketplaces because that seems to be one of the most sold packages. Here on Steam you would be able to sell it for it seems around 3.7 which is around 3.2 after tax and after seeing the other options that you have you're gonna realize that 3.2 after tax on Steam is not that great. Alternatively, you could sell your souvenir packages on buff, but it seems that here the price is not that great either. On here, it's about 60% of what it is on Steam, which is pretty balanced when you take in consideration that Steam balance is like 30% cheaper than real money, but that's still not that great. I would actually consider buying for this price on buff and then reselling them on other platforms, just because it's kind of efficient. Next platform is Skimport and actually my favorite one. You probably already know that. On here, you're gonna be able to sell it for around 3.1 or 3.09 currently, and they sell in the 100 per day, which is actually really good. Of course, if you have thousands of them, it's gonna be really hard to sell without crashing the price, so try not to list all of them at once for sale, but you can still sell quite a bit of them. Of course, it's not comparable to Steam, where you can sell basically hundreds every single hour, but it's still so much better. And the main thing is the price. If you sell it for 3.1 before tax, you're gonna end up with about, let's say, 2.72 after tax in cash. Remember, on buff, you would get 336, that's before tax, and on, <laughs> on Skimport, you would be getting around this much, that is after tax, which is really good. You can actually subtract this and you get around 50, 40 cent profit, basically. And also Skimport is where I sold all of my packages that I had, all the Ancient, Mirage, Dust2, I had all kinds. 
And also recently I started looking more into DMarket to try and understand the website so I can navigate better and work with it and so on. And uh, on here you would be able to sell them for around 275 which is cheaper than on Skimport, right? But since you're a seller, that's not very appealing to you because on Skimport you're already getting 2.82, right? Here you're gonna sell them for 275 and then you subtract the tax, it's quite a bit less, around five to 10% less. It's not a big difference. You could sell on both platforms if you have a lot of them, but I think this is just a tiny bit worse. That's why I sold all of my packages on Skimport because it's more efficient. Okay, maybe one thing that might not be very clear, maybe not all people connected the dots, but if the next major has the exact same collections, what that means is that there's suddenly going to become more of the same collections. It doesn't really matter from which year they are. Only the team stickers and the tournament sticker is gonna be different on them, but they're gonna be pretty much the same. So the old packages are just gonna go down in price immediately to what the new package is gonna be at, around 2.53 euros. So you're gonna miss out on quite a bit of gains if you don't sell them now. Alternatively, of course, it could happen that they introduce new packages and the old ones are gonna skyrocket for a short period of time and then come back to a little bit over what it used to be, maybe 20% more, which is quite a lot of profit, but it doesn't really justify taking the risk and keeping them past this decision point. That's what I think at least. So yeah, I hope now you understand why selling them is a good idea and you also know where you can sell them and so on. I hope this video was useful. If so, leave a like and I'll see you in another video. I'm not sure when, but hopefully soon. And uh, also I want to explain why I've been missing for three months. <laughs> um, it's been quite a bit, right? Um, this is my last semester at the university. I hope I will finish it with success and... Uh, not have to worry about it again for a time maybe a year ago i i had in my mind that i might quit university so i really had like i struggled with the idea of finishing and so on so that's why i i took this break and and did other stuff than youtube uh but it's coming along and i hope that in about one month i will I will be done with it, maybe two months at most. Um, so yeah, you won't have to wait that much longer. In this time, I've I've picked up a few hobbies like kickboxing, uh, motorcycle uh, classes, not just any motorcycle, but like racing motorcycles. Um, yeah, <laughs> I also upgraded my setup quite a bit. Not much, just basic stuff mainly because my old stuff broke, so I had to replace it. But I was flipping skins and with that profit I was able to buy new stuff with no problem. And yeah, I'll make an update with the flipping series which is going mind-blowingly great, which is a success. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna get too much into it because that's a totally different video. I'll make <laughs> I'll make a video of it. Maybe, um, who knows, maybe I'll enjoy editing this video a lot and the next video is gonna come a lot sooner. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Have a nice day, evening, morning, whatever, and I'll see you hopefully very soon. Bye-bye.